Well, at the age of 14, I hung around the YMCA a lot, and I, I saw a sign that said, uh, Judo, a demonstration in gentleness. As soon as I saw the word Judo, I, I knew I wanted to do it. The instructor, a Korean minister, he taught us Judo, and uh, we soon, soon learned how to fall and throw each other, and uh, it was great. I, no one ever had to talk me into it. I just knew I wanted to do it. One day in English class, when I was a junior, a friend, Janet, turned around and said, my cousin's teaching at the YWCA, Kung Fu. Really? So I went down and met my, uh, met my future instructor, Philip Starr, a very personal, personal guy. Uh, and he was teaching in Fairfield at Parsons College at the time. And so invited us down, and we've been training with him ever since. <laughs> Kung Fu has many different aspects. Not only the punches and kicks, but uh, joint locks, china, sui jiao throws. Especially with my work in corrections, work for the Department of Corrections, I, I need to know how to handle violent people and how to, how to put people under control and do the least amount of damage to neutralize the situation. I think what kept me in martial arts all these years, I always look forward to getting better. Whether it was more flexible or stronger or learning a new technique or getting the techniques better. I think that's what kept me in. And also helping others do the same thing. I think the discipline that martial arts provides is greatly underrated today. The positive changes in people's personality due to the discipline that you go through in martial arts is probably one of the most important things, more important than learning to punch and kick, possibly more important than learning to defend yourself. The discipline in martial arts uh, provides a, a path for respect for others, kind of a, a moral pathway. And you can only get that through a, through a good instructor who'll, who'll take you there. When one first starts in martial arts, they may want to defend themselves or get in shape or compete or just learn the art. There's really no bad reason to start. It's the reason you stay. If you want to improve your life, if you don't want to give up on your, yourself and your body, maybe you want to learn self-defense, Maybe you want to get in shape. Maybe you'd like to be more confident. Maybe you, maybe you do want to compete in tournaments uh, as a sport. But if you really want to improve on yourself and get better, try martial arts. You start slow and gradual, a long-term program that will not only get you in shape and be confident about yourself from learning self-defense, you'll feel better physically and mentally. Yeah.